go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. Go. Preserver. Rain outlines your fate. Yeah. Germinate! Scatter! The bond is strong! Witness the power! Oh, I'll settle this! Mind your fate. Rain cutter. <sighs> Orders given. Orders received.
things. Out of my way! No, my sword! <sighs> Scatter! Dead with me! Rain outlines your fate. Let me leave you a verse. Here! Germinate! I'll settle this. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. Body and mouth. Scatter! Dissipate! Life goes on. No, my sword! Lightning Sheriff! Sure Rim cutter! Propagate! isn't here. <sighs> That's right. Then let's hurry up and find... Whoa! There's so much synth here! And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink? Whoa! There's even fruit flavored synth? Yep! In What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for re- Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research con- The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23... <coughs> Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just... that... Paimon's never read- How can Someone writes something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone. You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. So that's why he did all of these ex- Wait, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought- he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Ah, <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these uh, experiments? So that's it. Vache was no victim, but per no, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to risk? In any case. <laughs> written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes! Hmm... Callus... Navia's father... Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on you. Hmm... Hmm... Yep! It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and this should prove the existence of the third person, right? Hmm... We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organ- The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The- I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. 
He won't de Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. <laughs> They're all just so evil. lovers then you found her diary oh it's just a normal diary chronicling their love story she was so sweet too so many a whole page's worth but the final name she decided Marcel wait but Marcel's pretty old. Oh, has this case been going on for so long? And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Navia! We're back! Ugh, as expected of my partner. 
I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalette. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair and we already know everything! After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you! You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache! So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismant- Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew- You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think- Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Pay attention to you? <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place, so I can't be dissolved, no matter what I do. Primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve! Can't dissolve! Can't dissolve! <laughs> Do you all see? I can't go! I can't follow! So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! I still need to save Vignier. I promise. We Vignier! Vignier! Please, Vignier, don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler. 
Please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea, and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others, and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria, and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Varche. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is... Guilty. Guards! Take Vache away. Good. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearance is cake. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit? <laughs> and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? <sighs> Demoiselle, you are absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come! Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with.
Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearance. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse. Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... Guilty. What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it should The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is... Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Looking at me, I had nothing to do with it. I I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> Ahem. My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you- Don't tell me. You thought even I had- But the way she looked just now, it was pretty- However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything and, <laughs> of course, for every performance there is a script. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the s everything he's done. Not to m all shall be revealed in time. You will now. Having said that, 
Although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is... So she chose to make her escape after... Uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stuff... Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. All right. Even though we've... After all, he's done plenty...